guys, so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. It is with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, and this palette, you guys, is absolutely amazing. I picked it up, I think, a couple of weeks ago, and I just never... I never broke it in yet, and I'm really surprised. Usually when I get new products, I try them the first day I get it, and just this one, I just didn't. So I don't know why, um, because it's like a beautiful palette. Um, and yeah, I really wanted to do a makeup tutorial with this one today, um, and I want to show you what it looks like. So here are all the colors. I think what took me a while to, to use this palette is because they're not very common colors that you would wear every day. The look that I created today, um, I would say, I think it's more for nighttime. Um, I could probably tone it down a bit if you wanted to wear it during the day and not put as much black as I did, but I try to make the most normal look as possible. Like I didn't want to put too many like of the yellow because I know there's like a, a really cool yellow in here. I didn't want to put like a green and stuff. Like I wanted to do a look that everybody really could recreate that they could wear going out and then they could tone it down and go to school with this look as well. I would really recommend to pick this palette up before it is pulled off the shelf since it is limited edition. Um, I'm in love with it and the packaging though is so cute. Like artist. So you can tell it's like an artist palette. I'm in love with it. And Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows, I mean, really, they're like the best eyeshadows ever. That Makeup Geek, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Makeup Geek are my favorite eyeshadow brands, hands down. So amazing. So, so yeah, this makeup look is actually super duper easy to recreate. If you don't want to make it look as smoky as I did, then be my guest and you can make it a little bit more less smoky and just a little bit more... Well, I'm trying to think of what these colors are called. Like dusty, it's a dusty, rosy, mauve type of colors. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and I will see you guys soon. I'm going to first start off with priming my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I put this all over my lid and up on my brow bone as well. Now from the Anastasia Artist Palette, I'm going to take the color Dusty Rose and a MAC 224 blending brush and just put this right in my crease. And then I'm going to take the color Aubergine, I believe it's pronounced, and take a MAC 217 blending brush and just put this right um, in the end of my crease, right on the corner, sorry, of my crease, just to give my eyes a little bit more depth and dimension. And then I'm just going to blend in everything with a MAC 224 blending brush again. And then I'm going to take the color Buttery, which is a beautiful creamy white, and I love the name too. So that's why I'd like to say get buttery and take a MAC 224 um, uh, flat eyeshadow brush. Now to make the look a little bit more smoky, I'm going to take the color Coal and take a MAC 219 pencil brush and just put this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not making it too smoky, but I'm just making it smoky enough and I love this look. Let me tell you, I will be doing this so many more times after this. I love it. And just to blend the black in a little bit better, I'm just going to take my MAC 224 blending brush again. And for liquid eyeliner, always I'm going to take my Kat Von D Ink It Liner in Trooper and just make a nice wing. And the false lashes that I did use were the House of Lashes Iconic. And I'm just going to go back in um, with the liquid eyeliner and just cover up the glue spots. I did not record this just because it was really, really hard to record and put on at the same time. I'm going to take the color Aubergine, I think, again, and take a MAC 219 pencil brush and just put this on the um, bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take the color Coal again and I'm going to put this about halfway on my bottom lash line just where my wing is just to smoke it out a little bit more and for this step you can basically take any black eyeliner you want I use the Maybelline Line Express um, black liner in ebony and I just put this right in my waterline 
And then I'm just going to take my Miss, Ma Miss Manga Mascara Wow by Maybelline and just coat my bottom lashes. And for priming the face, I'm going to take the Lorac Perfection Face Primer. And for foundation, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD Foundation and a um, Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. And it is in the shade 140, I believe. I'm just going to put this all over my face. And for concealer, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer in the shade Light and put this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin as well. And to blend everything out, I'm going to take this um, Taper Kabuki Brush by Sigma and just blend it all out. I believe it's the F86 maybe? Something like that. Um, and then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and it's the cream one. And I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette and just put this on my cheekbones just to carve out my cheeks a little bit better, on my forehead, on my temples, um, on my jawline, and on my chin as well. And I did use a Sonia Kasha concealer brush, and I did spray with Max, MAC Fix Plus. I can't talk. MAC Fix Plus um, right before I put it on. And then I'm going to go back in with the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and just blend this all out. And then I'm going to mix those two yellow and peachy shades as a highlight and put this under my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin as well. I blended the highlight exactly how I blended my concealer with the F86, I think, a flat taper kabuki brush. I really need to check what the brush is. I think it's the F86. To set the foundation, I'm going to take this um, L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder. Um, and then I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and take my Real Techniques Setting Brush and just set all my concealer um, and highlight. And this is my favorite way to set my concealer and highlight because literally it does not crease after you set this. It is absolutely amazing and I highly recommend this Laura Mercier Setting Powder to everyone. And for bronzer, I'm going to take my favorite Hoola Benefit bronzer and take a MAC 109 bon bronzing, really Alana, really, bronzing brush and just put this on my cheekbones, on my forehead, my temples, and my jawline, my neck, and my chin as well. So many places the bronzer's going to go. And then I'm going to take MAC's Desert Rose Blush, which is hands down my favorite blush ever, um, and take my MAC 129 Blush Brush and just put it on the apples on my cheeks and my cheeks as well. And then I'm going to take the Balm's Mary Luminizer um, and put this on my cheekbones. It's a gorgeous highlight, I must say. If you're looking for a great highlight right now, you pick this one up. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a beautiful champagne gold and is so natural. And then I'm just going to fill my eyebrows in with this Chella Eyebrow Pencil in Taupe. And to highlight my brows and my inner tear duct, I'm going to take the Mary Luminizer again. And not only is this a beautiful highlight for the face, it's also a beautiful highlight for the brow bone and the inner tear duct as well. And for lipstick, li oh my gosh, lipstick, I'm going to take this NYX Butter Gloss in Pops. And this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite lipsticks that I own, as you can tell, since it's like so little itty bitty now, sadly. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, and I'll be listing all the products that I used in the description bar down below, and I also will post pictures and all the products that I use as well on my blog, and I did want to uh, tell you guys as well, if I can talk there, okay, I did want to tell you guys as well that the lighting is really, really different because I did get a ring light, and I am so excited. I have been wanting to get a ring light for a while, and I just... I went on eBay and it was like $500 and I was just like, there's no way I'm going to spend $500 on a ring light. Like, no, no, no. So I've been just using natural light and 
I came across one on Amazon and it was like $125 I think and this is it and it is amazing and I am so impressed by it I am in love so worth $125 if it can make my video quality better and make the colors on my face and my eyes more true to color then we're good so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon bye